Anyways. Anyways, all right. <sighs> all right, now now we're going to be getting into the topic that people are going to get mad. They're going to fucking mauled out at me. And I know they are. So. 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 Also in 10.0.7. <laughs> we are getting heritage armors. For human and orc. The two most iconic races for Warcraft. A lot of people don't like these sets. And that's, uh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, I could have, I could have, you could have far fucking guessed that one two weeks ago. Of course people weren't going to like these sets. Anyways, as it says, both orcs and humans can earn the heritage armor to show off their pride. You follow a series of quests culminating in receiving a new armor set specific for your race. And this is the human one. It is obviously, at least to me, it looks like some variant armor. It does. Let me, um... Wow. Varian Rin. I'll show you right now. I'll show you what I mean. Let me find this picture right right quick. Um, there you are. Hello, sir. Get on the screen. Alright. Call me fucking crazy. I'm just gonna... Bro, if this shit was a darker blue... If it had, like, I don't know, some more, like, metal around, like, the chest. This would straight up be some shit that this man's would wear. Am I wrong? I don't fucking think I am. I know a lot of people disagree with me. But I think those people are stupid. Like, how the fuck can you look, sit here and look at this set? And be like, and then not, and then not see it in this one. You got to be crazy. It is similar, yes. It is very similar, and I think that's kind of the point, right? Varian Rin is probably one of the most iconic humans in Warcraft. So the, he kind of has an armor that is inspired by him. But this set, despite people being like, "Oh, it's just, it's just another stupid knight armor. It's fucking whatever." This set's not the main problem. Because the real problem is this one. People are livid about this fucking orc armor. They are mad. They are, dare I say, molding. They are furious. This is not what they wanted. People are very upset. They didn't want this. And so I asked. I asked on Twitter. I said, if not this... Then what? What do you actually want? Well, I got some answers. One of the sets that people kept showing me is this. They wanted this as, as the orc character armor or something close to this. And I'm just going to be, I'm just going to fucking flat out say it. They wanted a shaman set. That's what they wanted. They didn't want an orc set. No, no, no. They wanted the shaman set because that's a shaman set. If you were to tell me, if you were to tell me this was an armor from Antorus, I'd believe you. They also said other things like they wanted it to be a uh, um, a love letter to Sarfang. Now, I hate to be that guy. Let me, uh, let me grab a picture of him really fast. I hate to be this guy. Obama be this guy. Here's Sarfang. Now his armor already exists because it is, it is simply a high res version, a reskinned color 
of the Raft set. A warrior set. So, they wanted not only a shaman set, but they also wanted a warrior set. Because whether or not you fucking agree, look, he's got the little collar, he's got the spikes, it's this set. He wore this set back then, all they did was high res it and make it red for BFA. That's all they did. That's all this set is. It's a warrior set, because Sarfang is a warrior. Now, I don't think they're going to give you an updated Raft set. They would have given that to Warrior. They want a true enhancement shaman set. Well, here's the thing. Wanting this set is not a bad thing, but this is not a good heritage armor. Wanting this is probably about as bad as this. And wanting this is just as bad as this. That being said, when it comes to this image, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of misconceptions about heritage armor. Okay? And especially heritage armor for Orc and human. Why is there a lot of misconception? Why is there a lot of problems with this? Well, here's the fucking thing. What are the two most, and I've already said it, what are the two most iconic races in Warcraft? Orcs and humans. They started the whole fucking thing. They are the ones that have the most for them. You look at a fucking human, all of his culture, all of his stuff has basically already been made and done throughout the entire course of all three RTS games and the entire MMO. It's the same with Orc. They've had a lot of things that have been inspired around them. One of those things is are, are the Warfront armors, which I will pull up a picture of. There we go. These things right here. You cannot sit here and tell me that these are not heavily inspired by humans and orcs. Right? And this has been the case for a very, very long time. Orcs and humans. They are one of, if not the two most generic races in Warcraft. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's true. There's a reason why people are like, oh, I don't play orc because they're generic. Or they say, oh, I don't play, play human because it's generic. There's a reason for that. And it's because their themes and their cultures and all this shit has been beaten to death constantly. Now, when it comes to heritage armor, heritage armors, a lot of misconception about those. Now, the heritage armor, are they are essentially made out to be the, they are essentially the generic representation of a race, right? And here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. I want everybody to close their eyes right now. And I want you to picture a blood elf. Okay, what do you think of? Well, when I think of it, I think of, you know, this blonde hair, green, green-eyed mage who wears red and gold. Maybe some green in there. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm crazy for thinking that. In fact, saying that, a lot of you probably thought of this son of a bitch. You probably thought of him. This guy right here. And if you didn't think of him, well then guess fucking what? You probably fucking thought of these two. Now I'm going to show you something. 
you you thought of these two, right? You thought of the Blood Elf and what their generic stereotypical appearance is. That's not what I wanted. You thought of this. Am I wrong? This is the Blood Elf Heritage Armor. Is this not that? Is this not the spitting image of the stereotypical Blood Elf? Here, I'll do it again. Uh, let's go with Worgen. All right, I want everybody to close their eyes. And I want you to picture, not a Worgen, but I want you to picture a Gilnean. What do you think of? Well, for me, I think of a suit with some very Victorian-esque style, right? I'm going to get it. I want everybody to keep thinking. Right? You picture probably the top hat. You know, very anything that is 1800s Victorian London. You probably thought of this. Or something close to it. Right? Because there it is. You know, you, you know what I mean? So, alright. Let's... Let's do it now. I want everybody to close their eyes. Let's do it again. I want everybody to think about a human. A Warcraft human. What is the first image that comes to your mind? Mine is a knight in silver armor with a shield. Maybe the crest of Lordaeron with a sword and a little tail frizzy thing on the back of his head because it's on the helmet what is this set open your eyes and look at this set what is it this is the stereotypical set for a human I know a lot of people are like oh but Dave I want a coat I want a nice like tail coat thing I want like a nice like, you know, from like Kul Taras. Well, guess what and what? If you're a generic human, you're not from Kul Taras. You're not from Gilneas. Fuck, you're not even from Lordaeron. You are from Stormwind. This is the most Stormwind set they've ever made. It is the generic knight set. Because that is what heritage armor truly is. It is the generic representation of a race. The heritage is who you are, right? It is, it is, the and the armor is supposed to be emblematic of what you are. I want everybody now to close their eyes once again. And I want you to picture a Warcraft orc. Right? I want everybody, what do you think of? You know what I think of? I think it's some big ass balding green orc with one fucking shoulder pad a harness he's wearing almost nothing he's got some fur right maybe he's got like a fucking big ass axe and he's swinging it around that's what I think of I think of this now let me show you something This is, whether you like it or not, the most generic representation of an orc. It is not the Warfront armor. No, no. That is too much, too much clothing. No. This is the general, generalization of an orc, just as this is the general, generalization of a human. That being said, I do think this set and the human set could probably do do some things different. 
but they are setting out to do what they need to do. They are supposed to be this generic. They are supposed to be universal. When you look at this set, you think an orc. When you look at this set, you think of a human. Whether or not this these armors exist, that doesn't fucking matter. This this is what matters. These two right here cuz these are the actual heritage armors. These are the armors that only they can wear. That being said, I do think that when it comes to this armor right here, it needs more red. <laughs> it does because I mean, let's look at the generic picture of the orc. What do you see? You see lots of red. This set doesn't have like any red in it and it's really weird. Now they have come out and said, Blizzard has has said that these sets they are but one variation of the actual heritage armor. What does that mean? Well, a lot of people think that it's going to be something fucking huge and grandiose and it's going to completely change the set. When in pro when, when in reality it was probably going to happen. I mean, let me get it because I saw it earlier. What, what What's actually going to happen is that it's going to do something like this. This is the Worgen set. They added the dress to it. <laughs> That's probably what it's going to end up being is, is you're going to get some variations like this. And who knows? What are those variations? Well, maybe like, maybe they fucking will like make, make one that is entirely red. Maybe they'll have one instead of this big ass fucking skull. They'll have like a nice, nice like wolf pelt or something. You know? Fuck, we don't know. But I am simply stating, whether you like this armor or not, this is fundamentally the closest thing besides the grunt armor, the, the, the Orgrimmar like default ass set. This is the closest thing that I think anyone would think of when they shut their eyes and they think of your stereotypical Warcraft orc. This set, not so much. Because when because when I close my eyes, I, I, I more see this set. Something close to this. Or the knight from uh, the Warcraft 3 trailer. Let me pull it up. Let me, let me see if I can find him. Yeah, here we go. This asshole. I think of this guy. Right? When I think of a stereotypical human. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm the only one. I think of this motherfucker right here. That's a human. That is a Warcraft human. I can see it. You know? I do think that it needs some more, like, more depth to it for this set. And I do think this set needs more red. I don't think a lot of people account for the fact that the colors on this armor, the people who don't like it, the colors on this armor are dog shit. And I'm just going to say it. Color is everything. Right? Color is one of the most important things when it comes to symbolism and, um, you know, culture and all this other stuff. Right? An orc usually wears red. That's why in the background right there, that horde banner, you see it. This one right fucking here is red. Because it symbolizes the horde. This does not symbolize the horde or an orc being this color. It needs to be red. I think that is the only change that really needs to be made to it. Maybe add a horde logo somewhere. Fuck, maybe give him a goddamn wolf pelt on the fucking shoulder. Maybe give him a fucking, like, wolf's cowl. Whatever. But here's the thing. I want to be based again for a minute. It doesn't matter what this set looks like. You want to know why? What's going to happen... It's going to happen. Because it's happened to every other heritage armor. 
you're going to get it. You might use the full set for two days. Then you're going to take it. You're going to find the best pieces from it. And you're going to make your own set. And you're probably going to mix and match it. Where is it? With this shit. Right? I can already see it now. They're going to take these shoulders. They're going to take these gloves. They're going to take these boots. And they're just going to take this harness. Take this fucking pants. And they're just going to mix them together. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I know what people do. They do this shit with the Blood Elf set. Right? Like, I see so many people using, like, this, the shoulders, or maybe this, and then they'll mix it up with, like, with, like, thigh highs or something crazy and make it their own. That's what people are going to do. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like in its full entirety. Because what it looks like in its full entirety is not going to matter. I can already tell you what people are going to do with this one. They're going to take that fucking... This thing right here, the, the little chest piece with the collar, they're going to go, they're going to put it over some blue tabard and they're going to use night stuff. Maybe they will be a hunter, right? They'll get some chain mail on there and that's how it's going to be. <laughs> okay. I think that is, that is enough bitching about heritage armor for one day. <laughs> I can only go so long, but what I stand is true. Whether, whether or not you actually do end up liking these sets. You're probably just going to take what you like about them. Then you're going to just apply it to another set. Remember how I was talking about earlier with the Warden stuff? About how I uh, I really like the Kyrian armor. And so I took the Kyrian armor and I still use it. Well, I don't use the whole set. I've mixed and matched some of the pieces to make like a like a better set. That's what people are going to do with these armors. Now that being said, if this is not the set that they're going to do it with, I do hope that... Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I closed it. I do hope that we do get some armor that is related to this. You know what I mean? I, I do hope we actually get some armor that looks like this. Because this is a very orc shaman set. You know? I won't I will not take this away from you. We might disagree on what these heritage armors should look like, but I'm not going to disagree on what you want. You like what you like, you don't like what you don't like. All I am simply trying to tell you, if you don't like these sets, is that and if you, and if you think they are generic or boring, well that's the point. <laughs> right? It is the as I keep saying, the generic rendition of each race. It's like this for the humans. It's like this for the orcs. The Sindori, the goblins, the gnomes, the, 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 the worgen. It's even like that for the lightforged and all the other allied races. It's going to be the same for the Kaldori and anyone else who doesn't have their set yet. 